Right, so we're going to have a look at making the, the actual frames. Just a, a basic tutorial on how to make these frames. Uh, for example, your horizontal stabilizers. Okay, you're going to start off with a piece of carbon. I'm going to use 0.5mm carbon here. And the first thing you'll want to do is to sharpen up one end. Okay, so you're sharpening it up so it will actually go through, sharpening up so it will actually go through the, the silicon rubber, or whatever you're using to hold it. Okay, so we're going to cut off a little bit of silicon rubber. This is uh, two millimeter with the 0.5 millimeter hole. And then all we're going to do is simply push the carbon through the silicon. Okay, there we go. So eventually that's going to be our, our support. Okay, so the other piece is going to go up through there and that's what's going to hold the, the piece in, intact. Okay, or, or you could actually cut a slice in the side like this and then that can actually we have another piece of carbon here. Another piece can actually slide in there. Okay. And it can go at an angle. Okay, so once we've done that, let's get on to the, the main thing here. Okay, so we're going to bring the carbon around and we'll need a little bit more rubber. Uh, I'm using 0.5 mil carbon just to, so it's easy to see on the video. So we're going to put both of the carbon ends, carbon rod ends, into there. Okay, this is a bit that takes a little bit of time and you might want to sharpen up the end a little bit. There we go. Right, so that's the, the circle we're going to use to make our control surface. Okay, I'll use this template right here. So the first thing we need to do is actually pin it down a little bit. So this time we're just going to put some pins on either side. So let's just say this is going to be an elevator or a horizontal stabilizer. Okay, then we bring the other side in Maybe you want to bring it into about here. So I'm putting the pins in at an angle so the carbon doesn't flick up. That's something you have to be careful of. Okay, so the pins are being put in at an angle like this, just to stop that from happening. Right, and then you'll want a couple more pins here to keep the sides straight. Okay, now you should actually draw a template like this on the board uh, to make sure you get things nice and accurate. I'm just going through it very quickly here as a demonstration. Okay, so the next part after that, we need something to help it hold its shape. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to measure your diameter here. Okay, so this one is 50, about say 56 millimeters. Okay, so that's what's that, 25, 28, so at 28 millimeters here. Okay, that's where we're going to have our piece of tape going across. Okay, so it's right on the, on the, the diameter there. Right, the tape we're using is Captain tape. So this is it, it's electrical tape. And I'm using this nice thin uh, two millimeter one. So basically what we do is we just slide the tape under here, line it up where we need it to be. And we're just going to cut it here and here. Okay, now of course you can take your time and do this uh, a lot more accurately. I'm just doing it quickly here to show you. Right, a pair of hand tweezers comes in handy. Just pick this piece up and pull it over and then push it down. And the same on this side. Once again, push it down. 
Okay, so we're going to do one of these on, on either end, and that's going to help it hold its shape. And you can actually put these in the middle here as well. Okay, let's just put one on either end, just to do it quickly. Okay, once again, just using tweezers, bring it down and then stick it down. And the other end, like this. Okay, so basically that should hold it in shape. Okay, you can see it's gonna spring out here a little bit. So once again, if you if you don't want this, this oval shape, uh, then you can put two more pieces of tape here to make it nice and straight. But that's the basic technique for making a control surface.